I am so excited, it is finally peach season, and peaches are not only one of my favorite fruits, but it's also one of the fruits that made me wanna get into planting my own fruit trees in the first place. So my peaches are ready to harvest, and I thought this would be a great time to do a video on how you know your peaches are perfectly ripe. How do you know it's just the right time to pick? So let me show you what I mean. So my peach trees are both luring peaches. And um, as I'm figuring out when it's time to pick, there are several things that I like to take a look at because especially with stone fruit, it really is a timing game. If you leave them on the tree too long, they get really soft and mushy and that's when you get bugs and critters coming in and all sorts of problems. But then of course, if you pick too early, they're still hard. They will soften over time on the counter if you pick them early, but they won't get any sweeter. So the longer they stay on the tree, the sweeter and more flavorful they're gonna get, as long as you don't cross that line into becoming mushy. So the first thing I look for is the overall size and shape. So these are luring peach trees, and with luring, and with a lot of other varieties, as they're developing, they have a more pronounced point like this. Um, and when they're smaller, they're just more elongated. And then as they get more mature and closer to ripeness, they start to swell and become fatter and fatter. Um, so that is one of the things that we look for. And just the overall size, of course, they're gonna get bigger and bigger. Now, my peach trees have been through quite a bit this year. I'm just so happy to still have a crop because I don't know if you follow the weather, but in Texas, we've been having some really crazy weather. We always have tons of spring storms and rain, but we've just had these crazy rainfalls and wild storms with tons of winds and things. So not only have a lot of the peaches been knocked off, but the trees have really been struggling with um, bacterial spot this year, which often happens when there's a lot of rainfall, a lot of humidity, and there's only so much you can do to to fight it if mother nature has other ideas. So I've been doing my best to keep it at bay um, and I'm just grateful there's still pretty a decent amount of peaches on these trees. But what that means is I've noticed the peaches, they aren't as big, they aren't quite as succulent looking. There's some discoloration on the skin um, and so they're still perfectly edible. I'll just have to, to peel them and the flesh is still good but there may not be like the ultimate peach crop that I'm always hoping for. Another thing to look for or is just the overall color. And this varies from variety to variety. Of course, peaches can be pretty deep red like this. This is a pretty pronounced blush on it to more of the kind of golden orangey color to yellow to almost white, maybe slightly peachy pink. Um, so know your cultivar, figure out what color it's supposed to be. That could be helpful, especially when taken along with the size and the shape. But the main thing you wanna look for is especially right by the stem. You you want this part of the peach to have no trace of green. You want it to be fully yellow or just not green. If it's still green, the peach will taste green and there's really not a whole lot you can do about it. So the next thing to check is the feel. So you wanna take, pick a peach that looks about ready on your tree and just give it a very gentle squeeze. And if you feel the slightest bit of give, I wouldn't call it soft yet, but you can feel the flesh compress just a little bit as I'm pressing lightly um, because they can bruise easily. So you wanna be careful. Then it's, it's time to go ahead and pick, especially if the color and everything is, is already there. Um, and you don't have to squeeze every peach. I wouldn't do that because like I said, they can bruise really easily. But I, I like to pick when they have just a little bit of give because I found if I wait too long, then somebody else gets to it. Squirrels, birds, bugs, whatever. So that's sort of my happy place of picking. Um, the other thing is give it a smell. It'll have a really strong peachy smell when it's ripe. And then finally, how easily does it come off the tree? It should come off very easily with just maybe the slightest bit of a twist. And if you're really having to tug, then the peach isn't ready to come off the tree. So don't pick it yet. Um, if you wait a little too long though, it will fall off on its own. And I don't know about you, as soon as a peach hits the ground, it seems like it's covered in bugs or a squirrel takes a bite out of it or whatever. So again, it's that balancing act. So if it can pop off pretty easily, then it's ready to pick. So go ahead and pick it. And of course, this is a very important part of the process. You must do this. You have to give it a taste um, because that's really the best way to tell if your peaches are ready to eat. So this one, I would probably leave out on the counter for a day or so for it to soften just a little, but I can tell just by breaking into it that it is really juicy. Oh, it smells amazing. 
It looks great. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, that's great. It's so nice to see that even on a subpar growing year, the peaches still taste amazing. And I'm sorry, homegrown peaches are gonna taste are gonna taste way better than any store bought, no matter what. Before I start picking, just one more quick note about when peaches are gonna be ripe. Um, because of course it can vary really widely from whatever variety you've planted to your climate to even just the specific weather you've had that season. Generally, peaches are going to be ripe sometime between June and August, but um, it just sort of depends. And so, for example, my Loring peach trees, they're typically harvested in June in my area, usually early June. It might be July in some other parts of the country or in parts of the world. Um, but here it is early mid-May and my peaches are already ready. So the only way to know exactly when to harvest is to check all of this criteria we just talked about and just keep observing your peaches and observing your tree. The other trick is to see what the birds and squirrels and other critters are doing. If you're seeing bites taken out of your peaches, chances are they're just about ready to be harvested. Another quick tip is beware of picking peaches right after a significant rainfall. Um, I noticed, like I mentioned, we've had a bunch of these big spring rains in the last few weeks. And when I checked my peaches after one of the rainfalls, they seemed on the soft side. And I was like, are they ready? But I decided to give it a day or two and just let the sun shine on them and see what happened. And sure enough, they um, kind of swelled initially. And then over the next couple days, they were firm again. And so um, I also tested a peach I pulled one off the tree and tasted it and it tasted watery so I was like okay let me let the sun do its thing let's get some more sugars going in these peaches and now I'm really glad I waited because they taste a lot better now than they did even just a few days ago this right here is why you thin out your peaches <laughs> I can definitely tell that I missed this branch and it's frankly a miracle that the whole branch didn't break off. As I go, I'm being sure to pull off the peaches that are overcome with pests or have rotten spots or have been bitten out of significantly. Um, and I have a separate place I'm discarding those because I don't want to attract pests and things around my peach tree. So getting rid of those, putting them in a separate place and then keeping the good ones for me. When you pick the peaches, be careful not to stack them up. They can bruise really, really easily. So I have this wide basket or you can use a box or something like that, something flat and wide that you can keep the peaches in a single layer so that way they're not piling on top of each other and kind of getting bruised or messed up in any way. I think that's just about it. This is my fourth basket full of peaches. I am really happy with my harvest, especially considering the fact that I've had at least twice that many fall off the tree in just the storms and weather and rotting and things like that. So considering all of that, I'm really happy with the harvest that I got from my peach trees. Um, so I definitely picked, you know, many of them were soft and seemed really perfect and just that little bit of give. Some of them are still a little bit firm, but I picked them anyway to get them off the tree because it's getting hotter. I'm noticing a lot more pests around and I just sort of want to unstress my trees. So the peaches that are a little bit softer are going to go straight in the fridge. The ones that need to soften up a little bit, I'm going to leave out on my counter until they get to just that right texture. But as soon as you put them in the fridge, they're not going to soften up anymore until they rot <laughs> and aren't good. I wouldn't keep them in the fridge for longer than maybe five days before they start to become problematic. But there's tons of things you can do with fresh peaches and now that I have my own peach harvest this season and now I have the fun of deciding what I want to do with all of these peaches. So let me know in the comments what are your favorite things to do with your homegrown peaches? What do you like to cook? How do you like to preserve them or store them? I would love to know. So thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your own spring and summer harvests that are coming quickly and I'll see you in the next video.